Welcome back to Sunrise Daily. We've got uh, Sylvester Ibodagi, publisher of National Daily Newspapers. Thank you for coming on today. Always a pleasure. Okay, well, I thought we were going to see that report uh, just to signpost. Well, we we are in preparations to the elections now. We, we've seen that uh, different groups are having different meetings with a lot of young people, and uh, they're trying to feel their way through such that they don't use them as cannon fodder for political thuggery and the likes and then the signing of uh, not to your age reduction bill into law if you look at those two components or more um how do you see us approaching this election in terms of uh, the young people now. You think that eventually there will be a major change in their mindset and approach to these elections? Yes and no. Hmm. Why? It's, um, it's, it's a choice that the young people of this country would have to make to either seize um, the moment because there is no other opportunity uh, that we have if the young people don't seize the opportunity that is being, uh, I mean, the momentum that has been generated by the signing into law of the age reduction bill, uh, uh, which for me is not so much of uh, the reduction in age, but rather the consciousness it brings to the average young Nigerian that he can have an opportunity to seek public office, be elected, and make a difference. Because over time, we've had young people occupy some of these positions. For instance, the former governor of Cross River, Donald Duke, was a governor at 37. By 45, he had served his eight years as governor. So what are we talking about, the not too young? But are, are you not looking at that in isolation? Because, I mean, if... Um you say he was a governor. He wasn't just a governor. There was his structure. There was funding and finances. There was even, so even much before then. Time. He was he was a commissioner. He that, was a that, commissioner. That's an appointed position, not an yes. elected position. But, but, but you see, somebody saw something in him. He presented himself. He could not be ignored at the time. Yeah, but, but, I'm but in this case, say, presenting yes. yourself is not sufficient all by itself, is yes. it? Because even if you present yourself. What about the funding? What about the support? It is not as How do you much get about the funding. That is why I said it's a matter of choice. If we make up our minds that this next election, I'm going to cast my vote only for someone that is competent, young, dynamic, and is committed to delivering the dividends of democracy. Now, if, if I make up my mind, it doesn't matter what uh, gratification anybody presents before me, I'm, I'm going to say no to it. I'm going to say, just like the way we were raised, there were guys who took to other social vices, people who decided to be, uh, uh, I mean, to, 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 to do the wrong stuff around us, but we made up our minds not to travel that route. You know, see, the key phrase here is, if I make up my mind, yes. or we made up our mind, so made up minds. How do we get to that point where Nigerians, the electorate, and even the young people decide or make up their minds? What do you think will inspire that decision? Recently, I, I began to look at our trajectory as a nation. And I went as far back as the pre-independence era. And to see our, our, our fathers who made the move who seized the momentum at the time to demand independence, political independence. They fought for it, they earned it, and how old were they? They were in their 20s and in their 30s. They made up their mind. And so I'm, I'm drawing inspiration from that. Then I look at the current president. He was in his 20s as a federal minister. I look at people who were very, very young at the time. The Matana Sule of this world, even the Patutomis. These are people who were very young. And they, they, they made up their mind. They had the opportunity. And they came in. I'm drawing my inspiration from that. And I'm calling on young people. And plus that, we see what is happening across the world. From France 
to Austria, to Canada, and to different parts of the world, even in our nearby Ethiopia. We're seeing what is happening. Again, I, I... So for me, we can draw inspiration from a trend and then be determined because we have seen all they have to offer. We've seen all they have to offer. There is nothing more. See, they, I mean, they've, they've been on the scene for over 50 years. The same people from independence, they've been there. But and see, we've, seen, we've seen the best if I may come in here, of the old. So we get, need to begin to experience the new. So and for me, that's an inspiration. There, they've been there for over 50 years. But you say they've seen it all. The question I asked was, they made up their minds. If I make up, if I make up my mind, what is it that will cause you to make up your mind? Seeing all the things that are being thrown at the young people. Chamberlain asked a question about funding. Well, besides funding, there are a lot of other things that are taking the attention of the young people. There is social media taking the attention of the young people. There is, some will say, no preparation. So it's like, even where there's seemingly pre seeming preparation, is shallow. Mm. So at the end of the day, what leads to a made-up mind to say, okay, this is where we're going? You know, I, I very much agree with you, you know, that, and, you know, taking my mind back, when they came in, it, it, maybe it was a clear strategy on the part of these old folks to make sure that they destroyed the very structure that they rolled on to have the opportunity. Because since they came in, it's like you cross, you use the bridge, and you burn the bridge. And so the people behind will have no opportunity and of what, coming over. In what practical way? Destroying our morals. Destroying deliberately our educational system. I, 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 I often say that the, the, the greatest infrastructure you can give any society is a quality investment in its education. Because I just talked about the fact that over time we've had young people have the opportunity. How did they fare? How did they fare? We see some of them today being dragged by the anti-corruption agencies for, I mean, swindling their states, you know, for various corrupt uh, practices while they were in office. These were young people. They had the opportunity, but they blew it. And that is what gives the impetus to the older generation to think that you know, we've also seen the best of the young people. I mean, I, I mean some, some time ago, one of them remarked that but we've seen the young people. I mean, uh, we've seen the best they can offer. And that is why we need a reorientation. It's not just about today. One of the inspirations for me is when I look at the future. I'm in my mid-40s now. I, 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 I look at the next 20 years, the next 30 years. If we do nothing now, the best we can have is that the children of some of these Novel rich, all right? Then they, they come back from their foreign studies. And then they are the ones that are also being pushed in. It's okay, yeah, you want the young people, so we're going to push them in. The question is, these people are disconnected from the system. What they are bringing cannot work with what is on ground. We need people that are raised from within. Qualitative education is needed. We need to go back to our curriculum. What are we teaching these people? How many of these graduates are coming out with inventions. What, what leadership opportunities are we giving to them? We see in developed climes, there are graduate programs, you know, graduate training programs. You know, while in school, they give them opportunities. They are trained, they are being raised. It doesn't matter whose son or whose daughter you are. Once they see in you that there are potentials, you, they begin to develop you. But in, in, you know, on this climb, even when you want to uh, uh, provide uh, bursaries uh, or sponsorship for foreign studies, again, the list is doctored. Whose son are you? Whose daughter are you? And then we keep shortchanging our best. 